Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Rager of The Chef You and I, and I have my guest chef, my friend, Marty Schultes. And Marty, I have to tell you, I am so excited about what we're going to do today, because you have grandchildren, I have grandchildren, mm -hmm. and this is going to be so much fun. This is called Unicorn Doo-Doo Cakes, <laughs> right? And I went out and bought an air power fryer mm -hmm. because I wanted to eat healthier, and since we're a healthy cooking show, I thought it would be so cool to do this, right? So we are going to actually make layered cupcakes in um, wonderful ice cream cones. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds so good. what we're going to use is we're using food coloring, we're using white icing, and you know, if you don't want to make your icing, you don't have to. You can get the really fluffy kind of icing, which I did. And we're going to show you some tricks today on how mm -hmm. to do it. So first of all, we're going to make a, we've taken a white cake mix and we're going to make the batter for it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then what are we going to do, Marge? Okay, so I like to take a white cake mix or yellow cake mix or whatever cake mix um, and kick it up a little bit. So I would add an extra egg instead of the milk I, or the water, I add milk. And then I either add vanilla or I'll add almond to my cake mix because Why? it just increases the flavor a little bit more. So today That's we're going to do... We're going to do three eggs, we're going to do milk, and we're going to add a little bit of vanilla. Since we're talking about kids, almond's a flavor that sometimes kids don't always like, but who doesn't like vanilla, right? So. And some of these are going to go home to eat for your grandchildren <laughs> because... See if they make it home. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, so. you love cake. Okay, yeah. so let's do this. So we're going to mm -hmm. add what first? Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and put the um, milk in. Milk it's in. one cup of milk. Okay. And then um, same thing with the oil. We use half a cup of oil. You can also use... Um, applesauce too if if you That's want to, actually to make it a healthier lighter, version healthier version mm -hmm. so it's a half a cup of half a cup of, and we're just using like a canola oil so that which is really good for you actually yeah and you wouldn't use like an olive oil that's yeah. too heavy and, uh, and three, three eggs. eggs all right I am all right not the, here you go yeah well let's just do this i'll let you do the eggs oh, yeah, because i'm because not the neatest of the eggs you're not <laughs> okay that's one Oh, wow. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Usually I have something other than that to put it in. Right. So that's two. Oh, guess what I saw? You know, I am a gadget person. You know that, <laughs> right? Um, actually, I saw on TV on an infomercial, which I love infomercials, by the way. Hold on. I got to see. You were trying to be unmessy and look at me. <laughs> right. Okay. So we... We've got the eggs, and we're scrambling them a little I bit, I just right? like to mix them up a little bit before, before you I put get, them in. Before I get them in the cake mix, because when I use a beater on a cake mix, too, I don't want to overbeat it because that makes it tough. It makes your cake a little bit tougher, so you want to keep it um, very light. Like when I make brownies, I barely get them wet, and it makes them just really fudgy and Great. chewy. Well, we're not so going to do that. Go that. ahead. Go ahead. You're fine. I'm just going to pour it in as you go. Okay, and then I'm going to just, once that's pretty mixed up, I'm going to give you just a little shot of vanilla. Right, and there. her your cakes are so delicious. You I bake like them bake. for the uh, bank all the time. I like to bake, yeah. I know you do. Yeah. Have you ever thought of going on one of those competition things? <laughs> hey, we should. Mary we should Berry. <laughs> oh, my God. Over at the British Baking. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I do enjoy that show. I do like to see what they create. How about the grocery thing that they do? Yeah. That one's really weird. You know, right. where they have to be in a grocery store, I have to get at least stirred up. Hold yeah. on. All right, Bill, well, before you finish up, I'm just, and I'm not a great one for measuring. I'm just going to give it a shot of vanilla okay. in there. Um, just throw that in there. Again, it's just going to increase the flavor and make it a little bit stronger. Right. Um, Actually, it makes you want Because you want to taste cake. You want to be able to taste what a cake tastes like. Do you remember when we didn't have cake mixes uh, that I don't remember? <laughs> I remember. I actually do like making my cakes from scratch. It's once you get the basic down, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I used to do that too, but now since it's so simple to use a cake mix, mm. 
Okay, is that enough, Mark? That's good. Looks okay. like you're good to go. All right, let's just mm -hmm. do that. Okay, now I just need to do this. All right. So now to get the colors in the cake mix, what we thought we'd do is we'd just go ahead and separate out. Um, we can leave one actually in the bowl, but we're going to separate out into two, so make three equal cake mix batters in these right. three and containers. And so guess what I have? I have one of these trusty, dusty things. That makes it simple. <laughs> I don't want to get it all over, right? Watch. Because see, in my kitchen, we'd just be dumping and pouring. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not the... I'm not the whatever, but all right. Yeah, so we're just going to... Now, how much do you want to put in there? Because I wonder how much we're going to need to go into each one of those Well, that's cupcakes. probably a couple of scoops in that one, a couple of scoops in this one. Okay, here you go. And then um, to make it fun, we're going to go ahead, and since they're unicorn, of course, we're going to go ahead and add some colors. Mm -hmm. And we've picked orange, blue, and red to go ahead and add these colors to. Mm -hmm. These are more of a gel color, so you don't need a whole lot. And, of course, if you get food coloring on your fingers, it's there for the next 24 hours. Yes, so. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. when you have nails like I do, it becomes part of your, until you go, in, no, really, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. So right. that looks really pretty. Okay. And, you know, too, when you bake a cake and you have colors in the cake, you have to use the colors that are pretty strong in there because, um, once you bake, the colors do um, fade out a little bit. So if it yeah. seems like I'm putting a lot in, it, You're really it's, not. It's because those colors will fade out a little bit. Okay. And red, red is one of those harder colors, actually, too. What's more to pinky, get isn't the it? Thing. Right. Yeah. I don't want to get. You could actually do this for anything that you were making cupcakes or anything. Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. Well, Fourth of July. I just saw a yeah. recipe recently for Fourth of July right. with red, a red, white, and blue cake. Okay. Right. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and give you some blue in this. In the whole batter. Well. Yeah, yeah yep, we're going to do the right. whole batter. The whole batter. All right, so we're gonna All right, I'll a, do that. Get you a spoon Here. to mix that up. Yeah. Let me do this. Got, got one up there. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Get all that batter out. And again, at my house, we'd be licking that batter. I know. Although well, you shouldn't be because it has raw eggs. It has raw eggs. And that's, <laughs> what you, that's what you I grew do. up doing that in my, in my Don't family. Don't you remember when we did that cake uh, mm. batter that you can eat? I know yeah. we did a show on that. That's pretty just by itself. Boy, that's like that. beautiful. That is pretty. This kind of looks like the ocean. Mm-hmm. Right? But again, that'll fade out because once you start once cooking. Once you start cooking mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Now, we're going to use the air fryer uh, unit, which I just got yesterday, by the way. <laughs> we are just, this is a new thing for us. We're <laughs> trying this maiden out. Maiden voyage. <laughs> maiden voyage. We do a lot of maiden voyages on our show, right? Mark. Okay. okay, so I think this is pretty well mixed up. Now, okay, you want to try our yeah, hand and our gadgets? So she got a handy dandy here. Right. Okay. So, so actually, you can go ahead and pour that can. in. Yeah. This is a really kind of cool gadget because I do a lot of cupcakes, and um, what I do is I take an ice cream scoop and I fill, you know, the cupcake and the muffin tins. But this is kind of cool because it fills from the bottom. Can you use that? Can you use the what you call right there? Okay, that that's enough. I would think that's think's enough. Yeah, I would cut that off. Okay, yep. cut it off. Cut it off. Okay, great. Yep, good. All right, good. Okay, we're going to put that one over there. Okay, that's that. Oh. All right. Well, now I hear it it's on all me. Over. Yep. So, go ahead. With this, right. we can either put the other colors on top of it and start filling, or we can just go ahead and get the bottom. I think let's go ahead and just do the blues on the bottom. Okay, let's do this. And then we'll refill. So, let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, we're going to move all this out, right? We're going to see how this works. We're going to do something that we've yep. never made in voyage, yeah, huh? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's doing it. Yeah. It's all good because it's all good and edible. All mm, right. Yeah. I'll probably get sick now. Yeah. Oh, well. Wait a minute. All right. So, all right. I'm going to hold these and do this because I think this is the best way this is going to turn out. I think so, too. All right. I'm That's gonna... your job today. <laughs> and on cupcakes, you only want to fill them about three-fourths of the way. So if you can kind of see, I'm just giving it a little dollop in there. You can see I'm only filling it a little bit because we're going to put two other colors on top of that. If I were just doing one color cupcakes, this would be so easy because the right. um, ice cream method is a little harder. Let's see, we get these down in there. 
I like gadgets. I think they're easier to make your life easier. And, you know, since I'm a crafter anyhow, I know you are too. Mm-hmm. I do like... Huh. That looks good. I'm getting down there, and then we'll tap them down a little bit to get that batter all the way down. Cause yeah. The bottom of those cones, because they do have the crisscrosses in the bottom. Right, and then on top of it, we're going to do the icing the same way. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a little bit of blue left, so actually... I'm going to do this. What are you doing? Oh, putting it in there? Oh, yes, good. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of the blue here. And then you want me to clean it out and we'll put the other color in? Yeah. Okay. All right, I think that's you got pretty much out. Yeah, if you just okay. want to give that a real I'll, quick rinse. I will. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on The Chef You and I. We're back on the Chef You and I with Marty, Chef Marty and myself, and now we're going to use the red. Yeah. We did the, she did the orange already in between times, and you want me to hold that for you? No, I want to be able to okay. see how much I'm putting in. Oh, yeah, because you I only want to go three-fourths of a way up. Right, because otherwise right. you'll have, really, they'll be all over the place. Yeah, and since we put an extra egg in there, probably even more, yeah, right? So but this fun. is going to be really cool. You know, you, when I was watching the infomercial on this wonderful air fryer, um, Guess what I found out? Yeah. They cut them in half to show you the layers. It's oh, really yeah. cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know, and I I just love these things. And we do a lot of product uh, assessment. Mm -hmm. And so I love this. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty darn easy, actually. Yeah, yeah. actually. Because if you're messy like I am with cake mix and chocolate and all that jazz, yeah. this is really cool. And your kids would love this. Mm -hmm. to do this or grandchildren. This actually would be a good tool for um to help kids learn to bake right. because that's part of the challenge of kids baking Trying is you're like Ugh. oh my gosh okay. so we've got these all filled like oh we got cake batter left so we are just going to put the rest of this cake batter in a pan and just conglomerate it all up as a fun fatty kind of cake all right, and I know everybody line. coming to your bank, mm -hmm. I'm going to get that out for you. How about okay. that? Okay. So we're just going to put it all in there because why waste cake batter, right? You know? No reason to ever waste cake batter. Ever, ever, ever. Because everybody at your bank eats everything. We like cake. I've noticed yeah, that. We like cake. I know they like yeah. cake. They love cupcakes. They By the end of the day when I come, mm -hmm. practically all yeah. gone. Yeah. Yeah. And you can always tell when you're not there. There's <laughs> none. Yeah, it's not it's not homemade. That's that's for that's sure. That's for sure. All right. So you got that in? Almost. There we go. And we're gonna there go. you go. And the one time All right, we're that go. I okay, right. get the blue in. Okay, we, we got more blue here too. Well, this is too fun. Kids would love to do the this is almost like painting with finger paints. <laughs> right? Yeah, all right, okay. there we go. Here, let me do Good this. Good to go. Good to go, all right. Though. And then yeah. put this in there. All right. Yeah. Okay, now, now you get to swirl it. Now I just make a swirl on it, not too much, just enough to get all those colors in a little bit. Perfect. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, that perfect. really is. All right. And that was just really simple. And now I'm going to take all this away for you. All right, great. You need to wash your hands. Hold on. I know. Well, I'm a mess, too. All right. And let me get you something, a wet towel. A so wet we're going to go ahead cloth. and get these in the air fryer. Um, okay. The air fryer, I think the directions were on this. It was 15 minutes Here at like 325. So that's sweet. And the nice thing I think about that, too, is you're not heating up your whole kitchen. You know, right now in Cincinnati, I it's know. so it's 95 hot. degrees out so, today. Um, yeah, so we definitely don't want that. So now we can just go ahead and pop these in and get them done. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll be quick in the oven. Actually, you up. know what? Um, that could go in there, I too. I think we could put that in there, too. Yeah, I think we probably okay. can. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that very carefully. Right. I'm going to open, open this up for, it up for you. Me. Go right ahead. Mm, all right, we'll go up here. You have to go down further, maybe? Um, so I can get that other one in there? No, no. we're not going to be able to get the other okay, one so in Okay, so just do that. Time. That'll be yeah. fine. That. Right there. Right. And then we're going to take one of the other mesh things, and we're going to put those on top. 
There we go. I think we're I think we're okay with just like you think that. We're, yeah. Okay. I would probably just do one at a time. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. So you wanna so press that. Close that up. We're gonna turn it down to the three twenty five that they suggested. Really? There we go. That's what the recipe is. The book suggested. And then start and go and you can fifteen hear it go. minutes. You know, that's gonna be great. Let me yeah. just borrow this a minute and we'll right. clean this all up. But look at that. Isn't that I want the I want the camera guy to see that. Because, you know, that would be really fun and funky for, you know, um, there's so much stuff going on outside. Mm -hmm. You can take, you you can show this if you don't, if you, we'd like to show it. We just got it. Yeah. Brand and brand was that simple? Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. And like easy that. to do. Uh, they do French fries in that. Mm -hmm. um, we could do uh, sweet potato fries. We could yeah. do anything in there. Probably There's no the grease. Yeah, huh? probably roast the chicken oh. in there would be oh, so yeah. good. Oh, yeah. You should see all the things. We have rotisserie chicken skewers. Mm. Mm. So we're going to do good. a whole show with meats the next time mm. and show how we do it. I know good. you're going to have fun with that. Yeah. So yeah. this is a unicorn doo-doo cake. So basically, let me tell you what's in it again. One box of white cake mix, mm -hmm. um, 16 flat bottom wafer ice cream cones, two cups of vanilla frosting, pink, purple, blue, and yellow food coloring, whatever you want to do, an edible glitter, or what we're going to use is my favorite. Colorful Jimmys. Yes, yes, they're fun. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to wait for that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do our... All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our icing done. All right. Okay, I've got another color over here. So in order to make it fun, unicorny on the top, we're going to go ahead and just, um, you had just got some regular icing. And, and I use store-bought icing a lot, too, because it's just, it's easy and quick. Um, and then just put some colors in this. Since my hands already have the, right. the gook on them, okay. I'll go ahead and just give just you that. Give me a little. There. I'll do this part. Blue. This is fine. And this one I already Yeah, we're going to do it a little differently, aren't we, Mark? Right. Um, so we we're want to... We want them to come out like in a spiral. Yeah. So in order to do that, Catherine picked up these fun little split icing containers. Or you see. can get the bags and do it like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one still had its little thing in it, so okay. pop this out. Okay. Oh well, there we so go. It's all are, over the place. So what are you nice. doing this next week? Um, there's lots of holidays coming up. Yeah. And what do you, you know, have you gone swimming a lot lately? I haven't done too much swimming. Um, went down Where, to, yeah. my girlfriend has a lake house down in Williamstown, so go down and visit her down there. That's uh -huh. kind of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, last week I took the uh, my two-year-old granddaughter with us. This is kind of a mustardy color. Yeah, it is. Um, and um, she was not ready to go in the water, and they have this big, big pad out on the lake and I'm like you know what I'm hot I'm ready to go in the water so I just kind of threw her out in the middle with her life jacket on it yeah. um, she didn't wasn't happy about it I got out on the on it and finally she was okay after a little bit you know but it's yeah, kind it, of a learning process I think yeah. for kids all right so here's all right look at all these fun colors right yeah so and so then we were talking about how the easiest way to get them I'm really all yellow here totally mustard here um, I should have to, given you gloves. No. <laughs> right. How to get them in here, because this is a little bit of a challenge tricky, tricky. to kind of get them in here. Um, my suggestion, and what I do to make icing easier to manipulate, I microwave it for a couple seconds. Well, why don't I, we do that? I pop it in. Okay, so we need a plate to put these all on. I pop it in the microwave for a little bit, and it's easier to pour. Right. Um, also, if you microwave icing and let it just cool down a little bit it's beautiful and it gets all like real shiny on top let's do that all right so let's, let's do one at a, you want to do one at a time yeah well that's fine okay let's do one at a yeah. time or i can just put them on there right yeah. there's a glass thing here just give me them okay if you want to have a lot of fun with your children or grandchildren or even say you're uh Want to have a friend over or girl, have your girlfriend's you know, like, over, get some wine out. Yeah, and really have a good time. <laughs> get the color going. Yeah, get the color going. <laughs> you know, that could be really fun. You know, like for a baby shower, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to do it yourself, this is kind of a fun kind of thing to do it yourself with. Yeah. It right? is, like I said before, food coloring is not for the faint of heart. It no, is. and it's not for me, yeah. definitely. It's, um, okay, it's go ahead. Definitely, okay. It's definitely something you have to have a little bit of patience with. Um, anytime you're working with sugar, I think that's kind of the way it goes. Right. I think we're good with that one. Mm-hmm. My uh, 
I look like a unicorn now, myself. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But just always remember when you're heating up icing, there is a fine point. You have to really keep an eye on your icing so it doesn't start to boil over. Then it, um, then then it kind of mess. ruins it. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's just a fine point. You want it just kind of runny, you know, just kind of runny. So we've got two of them already filled with the red and the blue, and then... We're going to let these cool a little bit so they congeal a little bit Do you know that kind of looks like pink, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, red's a hard color. I think red's a hard color. How are our cupcakes? They're looking really good. You can see them from the top of the side. They're all raised up. They're really? They smell wow, good. Wow, they're so cute. They smell good. They're really yeah. cute. All right. This is a fun thing. So far, I'm giving this a 10. <laughs> you know, when I, when I first saw it, I watched it over and over again. Because I wanted to make sure this is really what I wanted, okay? Yeah, so hold on a minute. Really Can you neat. imagine being on one of those reality shows where you have to be a judge and you have to taste all, oh my gosh, some of that stuff. I would not be sad. <laughs> I would like to I would to not know, be sad to have to do that. <laughs> no, no, but, but the thing that gets me is how can they eat so much? Uh, yeah, but you notice they only take little bites of everything. I notice that. Unless right. they really like it. Yeah. But can you imagine being a judge and then going, I really don't like it? It's done. All right. Okay. So we're going to get some hot pads here, which yeah. are in your... Right over here, right my over dear. Here. Over there. Over here in your drawer. And we're going to take it out, and we're going to show you what they look like. Okay. Let me see. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll show you what they look like. We're back on the chef, you and I, and Marty, you're going to make um, a pie crust, basically, mm -hmm. for our wonderful pull apart beef on pinata sunburst. All right, and pinata sunburst, and it's gorgeous. And wait till you see how easy it is mm -hmm. to make. Now, you during the break, you did one of the pie crust. Right. This one you're doing. I'm just gonna um, roll it out. Roll it yeah. out. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut, I'm going to put the ingredients in with this wonderful beef uh, mixture that we're doing. And then we're going to put it into the pie crust, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put it into the oven. It's going to be so fun. So anyhow, we're just doing this right now. And I love unusual things that you can have, especially in the summertime when you don't. For instance, it's 95 out right now. <laughs> right now yeah, too hot. and too hot to be out at the grill so i'd rather be in air conditioning with my uh, friends and my husband and making some fun things to have for dinner i am really spoiled with air conditioning i grew up not with it and i'll tell you what for seven kids with no air conditioning <laughs> it used to be and especially here in right, Cincinnati, in front, got in front of the fan i can remember oh, yeah. those arguments <laughs> yeah, we used to fight over who got the fan. And finally, my mom and dad finally got air conditioning. But anyhow, I'm going to cut up this onion, right? And we're actually going to have onion, corn, uh, frozen corn, or corn on a cob. And I, you know, it's such a nice corn this year that um, I'm just using regular corn. I took the corn off the cob. Mm -hmm. A red pepper, and then wonderful... And I don't use garlic, as you know. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So you use garlic in this. Uh, and if you don't like garlic, don't put garlic. You know? Uh, so this is really a nice, nice dinner or an entree. So I'm going to slice this onion up. And I just, when I'm doing this, especially since you're, it's almost like a chili when you mm -hmm. think of it because it's got so many cool spices in it. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you know what this is? What kind of onion this is? Oh, my Lord. I love these kind of onions. The Vidalia? Yes. Vidalia. And they're out right now, and they're so delicious. Okay, growing up, I never ate onions. And now, I don't like them raw so much, but I, I love like them, them cooked. Oh, oh. And wonderful. red onions. I love red onions. Oh, you know, yeah. with our new air power fryer, we can make a blooming onion. Yeah. And do you know what it said when I got it? It's 633 calories less when you use an air fryer. Oh, I bet, yeah. You know? Mm. So this is kind of cool. So we're going to add this, and I'm going to use my trusty, dusty little um, scraper. All right? And we're going to put this whole onion in, this mixture, right? 
And we'll do this. Hold on. And I used 80% lean ground beef, right? Mm. Now, I'm just going to let the onions... Just let them simmer, huh? Let just simmer a little bit before I put all the other ingredients in, yeah. Marie. You know? And you could actually put the top on and let them get nice and soft. But since we need this to be able to finish our empanada, empanada to put into the... Um, mm oven right or i don't know are we going to be able to put it into our air fryer or not um just depends on what kind of how big it depends is on what kind of a yeah pan we use Since yeah we're that's use true too round we might it might not fit so much in there um but we can put it in the oven it's not yeah, a, it's not yeah. a big deal we're not going to have it in the oven mm -hmm. very long so what we're going to add to this in just a moment mm -hmm. is we're going to add um corn um we're going to add uh, a red pepper diced uh, paprika, cumin, but do we have cumin? We don't. We're going to use cinnamon. Uh, ground mm -hmm. coriander, chili powder, uh, tomato paste, one can, one cup of frozen corn, or regular corn. And that's what we're going to put in. How mm -hmm. about that? Easy peasy. It's pretty easy mm -hmm. peasy to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, red pepper, and I am going to cut the top of it off. All right. Sorry about that. I yeah, and one thing we noticed with this recipe, too, is that if you didn't want to make your own crust, something really easy would be to either buy pie crust and use right. that, or um, I've used crescent rolls in other things, too. Where That, that would have really it, nice pastry it would, Yeah, it would, it would puff it up a little bit. You can use right. crescent rolls, too. So, you know, whatever makes it easiest for you to, um, you know, to get this done. And if you're taking it to a party, it might be, you know, quicker and easier Like a potluck. Mm -hmm. That's what they mm -hmm. suggested at a potluck. Yeah. Ooh, so boy, that red pepper that smells pretty? good. It smells oh, yeah. really good. It smells good. really good. Yeah. I just love red pepper. And they're, these are the real sweet ones, mm -hmm. so they don't give you, an, like, an aftertaste or anything, right? Because sometimes peppers can give you... Yeah, they have those little peppers out now. Oh, I like to put I love those. those. I those like to put beautiful. those in pasta salads. Just oh, they're, they're so pretty. just good. Mm -hmm. So you've got, a, you've got a deal going on with uh, Rolling on the River coming up. Yeah, our um, Kiwanis, I'm part of the Kiwanis. Yeah, um, and we're doing an annual car show, so right. we do it out on Fernbank Park in Cincinnati on July 22nd. Um, really kind of cool. Um, we get over 400 cars. Sometimes we top out at about 520. Whoa! Or so yeah, it's it's a big car show. Really neat because families can come in. It doesn't cost them anything to come in. Look at the old cars. Talk to the people who've restored them. You know, just right. It's a, a really kind of a good fun. Time. It's a fun right. family kind of thing. Yeah. And there's food, right? You can right. buy food. Yeah. yeah, we do. We sell hamburgers and hot dogs, um, pizza, um, pop and drinks, and um, again, there's no cost to come in. But if somebody wants to support us, they can buy you know lunch there. Um, we do a few basket raffles, a couple of raffles. Um, the mm -hmm. funds that we raise then, which is to me the coolest thing, the funds that we raise then go um most of them get distributed right back to the schools. into the community and the in, schools? into the local schools so oh, wow. you know, schools know what the needs are for the kids um the principals really have an idea of, of what the needs are so they we let them make that decision because that's their job that's that's what they do um, that's right but um you know it's just a bunch of really great people who get together and i'm coming this year good Good. Even yeah. though it's hotter you th usually. It's usually a hot day. Oh. Uh -huh. yes, they always is. do it when, Mart? They do it's it in August? It's always on the fourth Sunday of July. Okay, so the fourth Sunday of up, July. But, and it's either really hot or it rains a little bit. So, um, you know, well, we're always hoping for a good year. Well, I don't know. This year might be one of those years that you never know. It might be cooler. You yeah. never know. Yeah, that would be It's so fun. hot now. I feel like we're in the dog days now, and it's just going to be July. Maybe by yeah, know, starts the end. It'll be a little bit nicer. Leave it. And that's smelling awful good. Is that mm. smelling awful good? Now we're yes. adding all this wonderful. Yeah. We're putting this in the corn. Now this is going to be very colorful, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm that's adding good. all of that. Just gonna let that cook oh, down a little we're bit. We're gonna cook that mm. around a little bit. And I don't know why you would have put in oil in this because mine was 80% ground beef. But this is going to be really beautiful. And um, so I'm now going to add all my spices in the pot and the tomato paste. Hold on. Um, this is going to make it look really pretty. Look I'm at that. Gel all that stuff up together. Yeah, and we're going to let that all 
And it's really not like chili where it gets really, uh, what's the word? Um, chili's more, it's got more liquid in it. This has got less liquid in it, yeah. right? More of a thicker. Yeah, it's a thicker, because you're using paste, which I need a, actually, I need something different for that. I need a, I need this. <laughs> You know, get that all mixed up in yeah, there. Yeah, get it all mixed up, and then mm -hmm. I'll add the spices to it. And then we're going to put it, actually, while it's still hot, it goes into the pie crust. Right, put it in the pie crust, put the top on top, and then yeah. we'll twist them around and bake it. Yeah, it's going to be the main mm -hmm. course, actually. And for potlucks or something like that, that would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Something you know? different. Something, everybody's something always different. looking for something different to take to a potluck. One of our friends mm -hmm. used to make um, the wonderful, what did she make? She used to make um, Frisch's, remember, uh, what, Big Boy. She used to make a Big Boy dip or something. It was so oh, good. Oh, or like a Big Boy pizza. That's oh, good. yeah, the pizza she mm -hmm. used to make every year. You know, I'm going to make that one year. I think that would be so fun to do in her mm -hmm. honor. So, anyhow, let's do that it's now. It's funny what people bring to potlucks. I had an aunt who always brought this pink fluff stuff, and it was like cottage cheese and um, right. jello and pineapple. It was like, right. Sounds horrible, but it was really good. <laughs> now, let me start putting all this stuff mm. into it. So, we need a, um, for coriander, you want to use one teaspoon. Right. One, that's a tablespoon. Here we go. I hope we didn't lose the teaspoon in here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to use one teaspoon of this. There we go. Right? And let's do this. Let's get it in there. Get some of this yeah. opened up. Yeah, if you could open them up for me, that would be great. And so it doesn't taste like chili chili, right? Do we need to take a short break, I wonder? No, not yet. Okay, so then we need the chili powder. Which is? We need, um, actually, believe it or not, a half a teaspoon of chili powder. There you go, there's your chili oh, powder. Yeah, there's the chili powder. Maybe all these other, you know, maybe all some of these other ones, you know, um, we want um, one teaspoon of paprika, which is right here, right? Mm-hmm. All right. One teaspoon right here. Yeah. You know, it's a little hard to do this sometimes. Hold on. There you go. So that's probably the reason why you don't put the chili powder in there, Mark. Yeah, and then here's the just too much of that. And that's some cayenne the pepper. It is for a little did, bit of cayenne did it? pepper. Uh, we can edit out. I thought we had we're gonna do that instead of what? The cumin. I don't know. Okay, we're going to do that instead of the cumin. A so half a teaspoon or a quarter of a, a teaspoon? Fourth. I would do a fourth. Fourth a teaspoon, right. That's because it's want pretty it strong, hot. right? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to put that in mm. there. And then okay. you want to add some ground cinnamon, too. Ground to cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a maybe a... Let's you just, could do just this. shake that in there. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Perfect. And then we have to put, did we put the chili powder in yet? Yep. We got all the all the spices in. All the spices in. Oh, yep. okay. All so now, all we have to do. Now it's getting nice and thick. Yeah. Well, this looks good. I almost think you need to put some water in it or something, but apparently not. No liquid. So it's going to be kind of dry, you know what I mean? What do you think, girl? Um, I think I'm going to add just a little water yeah, in it. Yeah, because we've got to get it in. got to get all those spices in, the in pie, there. pie crust. Huh? we got to get it in the pie crust and then put the pie crust on top of it. Yeah, that's but right. But we'll show you how we're going to do that here in a little bit. Get yeah, that pan. Yeah, we will. And so we're going to take a, we're going to take a short break and we're going to come right back. And by that time, um, our mixture will be done and we're ready to assemble, we'll right? We'll be ready to assemble it. We'll be right back. We're back on the chef, you and I, and we're Marty's going to actually. We've already got the empanada um, filling done, mm -hmm. right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to outline it, right, Marge? Right. Yeah. And around the ring. Mm -hmm. So go right ahead. I'm going to start going ahead and filling this, and you don't want it so filled that it's going to just like blow out all the sides. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fill all around the all around the ring here, like right. this. Make a ring. Leave a go. little bit of a border. Mm-hmm. 
Well, this looks so good. I love things that are so unusual like this. It's so much fun, right? Mm. Smells so good. So good. Okay. okay. So I'm going to put it just a, just a little, little bit a more little over bit there. Here and a little bit more here. And then actually you put... Can you put a little bit more here? That looks yeah. like it's uneven or something. Right, okay. I'm put some in the middle. Yeah. That's the cool part, right? Get a little bite of everything in the middle. Okay. okay. So yeah. you've got it like this. Now, here comes the tricky part. We're going to take this other pie crust. And you'll notice my pie crust do not look exactly perfect, but we're going to go ahead and put this on top of, yeah, if you can hold that one for me, on mm -hmm. top of this one. Mm -hmm. so, do it like that mm -hmm. and then one of the little tricks ahead was just take that cup right there and push it down a little bit so it makes its own little pocket mm -hmm. we're going to pinch these and pinch these together right and then you're going to cut them then i'm going to cut them yeah so i'm just going to pinch this together and it's going to go into a 450 degree oven and it's going to be in there for um, actually 30 minutes. How about that? Mm -hmm. So this isn't really that tough, is it? No, this is a no And it enough. smells so delicious. We had our taster try it. <laughs> then we had to shoo them away. Right. So you're going to take that cup off. Right, before we bake before it. Before we yeah, do it. Yeah. Right. All right, so we've got it. I just want to make sure they don't blow out all over the place. Yeah. And right. then I'm going to push that down just to make sure it's nice right. and right. It's down. And then getting it off will be the treat. Oh, there. Look at it. Isn't right. that sweet? Now, kitchen scissors. We're just going to, and they just send the recipe. They just have you cut just it. cutting it. Yeah, in so many different places. And then it looks like it's a little twisted. Yeah, a little twisted. So we're going to twist yeah. a little. Give it a little twist. There we go. And I use kitchen scissors for so many things. Uh -huh. So many, so many things. I'm a big kitchen scissors fan. Just give it a little, little twist. Little dime twist. Little twist. Yeah. So we were talking before. Now, if I were making this for my family, for my girls, they are cheeseaholic, so I would probably you throw, would have had cheese. In I it. would have thrown cheese in it because they are, like I said, they are little cheeseaholics. So even my grandkids are little cheeseaholics, so they like. Right. You have two grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Nine and two. Oh wow! Yeah. What great ages! Yeah, they are fun. They are fun. Right. So. We've and this got is going to be one. a beautiful pastry when you're finished with it. Mm -hmm. And if you okay. wanted it shiny, even you could. Oh, we have to, it. no, we have to put egg. Do an egg wash We on have it. to do an egg wash on it. And I forgot about that. So let yes. me get out um, the egg wash and do that. Uh, I think the eggs are in here. No, they're in the other room. So we'll have our producer on a break go get me the egg, and then we'll put the egg wash on. I think we're getting ready to be up to 400 degrees, yeah. but not It yet. does look like a sunburst, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And I'm doing an egg wash on this, and we're just, to make it look really shiny, right, Mark? Mm -hmm. And... It's really pretty, Marty. I can't believe how pretty it is. It is pretty. It just is something, you know, looks different. Now, we actually didn't. We used um, pie shells, right? And we, you re, you actually... Uh, reworked them up. Reworked yeah. them up and stuff, Again, right? Again, if you, if you have a good crust that you like to make, or I make a great pizza crust, you know, if you have a yeah. pizza crust, even, you know, it'd be a little bit, little bit different, a little bit firmer, maybe even. Um, crescent rolls would be really good. Um, it looks to me like it's going to be one of those easy you can cut and pull apart too at a party, which oh, I like Oh yeah, that's too. exactly what it is. Yeah, I do. And like it's that one of those of kind of things that, you know, it's a potluck kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I think this is enough actually. Yeah. Looks what do you good. think? Yep. Looks, looks good. Okay, looks so we're going to put it into a 400 degree oven. We've got another what 10, yeah, 10, 10 degrees minutes. to go. Yeah. And then we're going to put this in the oven, and we're going to. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to be icing our cakes. There we go. We'll be right back on The Chef, You and I.
We're back on The Chef, you and I, and that's a gorgeous cake, Mark. I know, it turned out really fun. So That is really fun. Yeah. So now we're going to do the... So we're going to go ahead and try these. Oh, okay. yeah, I can't ahead. wait. We're going to go ahead and try, try these. Well, like actually, this. they're coming up pretty good. It just takes a little practice. Yeah, right? sometimes icing is just... There we go. You got to knock this stuff way down in there. Well, yours is probably coming out better than mine. You, so what do you think? There you go. Is that the way it's supposed <laughs> to look? Wow. <laughs> Very funny, Marty. I think that's probably enough in that one. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I think that is, too. Okay, so where are those sprinkle things that we had? Okay, let me find those. We'll find yeah, I think our producer can give them yeah, to us. Yeah, they're over And on I the think side. what I'm going to do is put them in a little... Thing right here. Let's do that. Where did there it go? go? There you oh, go. Here. There you go. And these are going to be so fun, right? So I'm going to put them in here. Oh my gosh, they got all over. See, this is what little kids do, like Catherine did. <laughs> right? So for future reference, what I'd do is I'd put it in a bowl and then let somebody dip over it so that they're not all well, over the kitchen. Actually, this is more fun. Right. Yeah. So that's really cute. That turned out really sweet. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna really put that right here. Press these down. Should we put? Should we put? Uh, should we put some of that same icing on these? Mm, it's up to you. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. All right. I don't have a pretty good grip on some of these. Yeah, yeah you do. To get this done. This is so. so fun. Here we go. Yeah. All right, that's there you one. Go. Right. So let me do this one. Trying to get that icing. Down in there. Yeah, there's down in there, babes. Mm. I hope we have enough icing to do all of this. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. See, it's the first time we've done this. So, not that we what, haven't used icing before, but it's the first time we've used these before, right, yeah. March? Yeah, and the other method, of course, is a cake decorating set and to use plastic bags with yeah. icing. Um, yeah, which is a lot easier, actually. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There right. we go. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So with now, this these are fun. One, yeah. With this one, what we thought we'd do, we thought we'd give it the white icing treatment and yeah. then throw some color on it. Um, yeah. And see how, just for something different. But this turned out kind of cool. We thought with the color, different color batters, it had oh, kind yeah. of a good pattern to it. Yeah, so it did. Kind of, kind of. Fun. And your kids can decorate these, or your grandchildren. I bet your grandchildren would go nuts mm -hmm. on these. So, yeah, I know the little Cassie thing would be, uh, would be left to clean up would be me like leaving oh, to clean yeah. up, but right. yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but who cares? It's fine. And you get to be a little kid again, which I really love this. <laughs> and icing, my husband loves icing. He gets to taste all this one. I'm a pretty stuff. big fan of it myself. <laughs> yeah, I am too. All right. right, so there we've got our white icing on this. And we're gonna we're gonna put these way. on a really pretty plate or whatever. Yeah, and you know what I think on this we'll just we'll just, we'll just do that in a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just and then it has a surprise inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not too many and just. I mean, these go. really Perfect. look like ice cream when you look at it, mm -hmm. and you could serve that with ice cream. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't oh, that, that be, would good? be good? Yeah. We'll be right back on the chef you and I with Catherine Rigger and Marty Schultes. We'll be right back. Okay. We're back on The Chef, you and I, with Marty Schultes and myself, Catherine Raker. And, you know, there's tricks to the trade, aren't there? Mm -hmm. We're always picking up tips. Show me your latest tip on okay. getting the top of a strawberry off. Hauling a strawberry. So Hauling a strawberry. One of those nice, strong straws, right. not the ones that, they're, um, <laughs> right. that you can't have anymore. And you just throw it up through the bottom. This is really simple. Wow. Look at that. Just going to push that through and get that top right out. Okay. And core your strawberry. Can I try one? Yep. Okay, let me see yeah. how you did that. Just uh, up through the bottom. Up through the bottom. Right here? Yep, up through the bottom. Oh, really? Oh, it. not hard at all. <laughs> Actually, you just have to take this one off yeah. like that. Now, we're going to cut these strawberries. Right, yeah. So we just want to get the core out. We want to get the core out. Easy. And I need a little dish here to get all those little beautiful leaves there. Just pop them babies right out. 
Okay, so we need about two cups of strawberries. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do in the meantime while you're doing that, I'm going to move that over there. Right. I'm going to cut the mozzarella, and I'm going to cut up the parsley to put around it and to decorate with it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this. We're going to cut Ooh, fresh mozzarella. Oh, mm. it's so good, especially at this time of year. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this like this and like that. Let me have all of these. This is going to be so pretty when you're finished with it. You want to add your yeah, balsamic I'm gonna vinaigrette? Right there. And you just put a little bit of this on just, just to kind of give it um, a little, not a lot. All right, just a little bit, right? And then we'll just very lightly pour this over everything right here, right like that. Four star okay. restaurant. There okay. you go. That goes really sweet. Yeah. So we're going to take a picture of that, and uh, then you can put that in. We can put that in the refrigerator until we get to the potluck. How go. about that? All right. I don't know if that's going to sit there. I don't think so. Let's and do another then, strawberry. You know what? We can probably take a picture of this, too. Yeah. A beautiful sunburst that got done. Right. We're going to move that over a little bit. We're going to put forward. that on a plate. Look at how right. pretty that yeah. ended up being. Isn't that gorgeous? That oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. That's it. It, it turned out so that, nice. Go, oh, who made that? That's so pretty. Marty made it. Yeah, Yay. Yay. It's all good. <laughs> right. So, okay. and you know what? Uh, people that may not like mozzarella may love this. You never know, yep. right? Yep. So we'll put a little bit more there. All right. We'll and just have the white over, showing. Push it over so that they can see the two things. But picture. you know what? I'd like to take that and put it on a really pretty plate. What do you mm -hmm. think? Could I do that? We'll have to try. We'll have to see what we can do to move it. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it in a little <laughs> while because we're going to taste it. Sounds How about me. that? Mm -hmm. We're going to take a short break, and we will be right back on The Chef You and I with Marty and Catherine Raker. Marty, this is really fun because what we're doing is we're making a really fast chicken salad to put in these beautiful avocado bowls mm, you and you know that could be a nice uh lunch mm -hmm. you know uh, or anything so let's go ahead we're gonna the mm. first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna chop up a cucumber yeah and mm -hmm. then we're gonna do an onion we're not gonna do that much onion but we're no. gonna do chicken and i actually cooked this chicken ahead and or you can buy the chicken mm -hmm. whatever's uh, easiest right yeah a rotisserie one and now that we have the air fryer we can even do that in our air fryer how about that mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna get another yeah. one of these out hold on and put this in the bowl right mm -hmm. okay I'll put that in the bowl and that goes there you've got your cucumber right yep i'll show you, you do that I'll give you that i can do that oh, nice. all right because i'm only going to do half of it this is a big onion right yeah. so how much does it call for a small onion or what it just says um just two tablespoons so not, two tablespoons not very much right. that's about this much maybe yeah, it's or that too. much yeah. okay now this is about i'm gonna say it's about two tablespoons that. right there put that back in there okay oh, what the heck okay right. now what else do we put in it okay Marty? we're going to put in three tablespoons of olive oil okay hold on i gotta get you the tablespoon where did they go? Oh, well, here they are, right here. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do three tablespoons mm -hmm. of olive oil. And that looks so nice. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then yep. what else? And then we're going to use one tablespoon of that red wine vinegar. Okay, and I think you're gonna, not, we haven't even opened it yet, well, actually. Brand new. Brand new. There we go. <laughs> And over there. how much? Just one. A little bit more than that. There we yeah. go. Okay. One tablespoon of that. That. And, and then what? And then um, just some um, nice mint. Just some little, I'm just little bit. Just going to put of, a little bit of mint in there. Just a little bit of mint. Yeah. That okay. Is that enough? That looks good. Okay. Yeah. And let's mix just. Mix that all up. We're going to mix that all up and with two forks. Stuff how about one that? Of those avocados. And we're going to put it in the avocado. This looks really good. Mm -hmm. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this actually into our um, yeah. avocados, right? And you could probably do maybe six of these, actually. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, easily. Oh, yeah. Easily be able to stuff that with that, yeah. Look at how pretty that's gonna be. And I, so I think that you can do your own thing 
and have fun with it. And we'll be right back after these messages, and we're going to be doing our tomatoes real fast, and then we'll have everything done. How about that? Good. We'll be right back on The Chef, you and I. We're back on The Chef, you and I, and this is the piece de resistance. I love tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Instead of using cherry tomatoes, I found some beautiful little tomatoes that I love, mm. and they're really, really tasty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to use ricotta, Parmesan cheese, Parmesan cheese, a little bit. I'm using, we're using dill in this one. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be so delicious when we finish it with it. And you're going to, we're going to stuff them into these cherry tomatoes. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, the challenging part was just unstu unstuffing the tomatoes. Yeah, please. and you know, I found a tool in my kitchen that I never thought I would use, and it actually cores out apples and a few other things, mm -hmm. and it cored it out. I don't know how you do that cherry tomato thing. That would be a that little That would tough. be a challenge. Yes. You'd have to have a little wonderful little thing that you could put on top of it. But what we're going to do is we are going to um, stuff these into these tomatoes. And I, what I may do... Is just take the, a little bit of the top off. What do you think? Could be. Yeah, make That's it a little a bit easier. A little bit easier. In. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to put them in there. Okay? All right. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, Let me try it. Smaller spoon. Okay. Smaller spoon. There you go. Okay. Let's just put that in there. Pretty. Oh, nice. Isn't that sweet? And actually, we could. My hands are clean. We could do that. Or we could cut the top off, and I think you'd get more in there if you did. Yeah. Right? What do you think? You're trying to do a combination of both. Yeah, of them. like a kind of combination of both things, mm -hmm. right? That's kind of cool. Well, here you go. Yeah. And that would be good. There's another one. And all good. that looks good. All right. And we're going to eat all this. I can't wait. I know. I'm starving. I'm starving, too. You know, this food makes you And hungry. our producer's starving. That's not good. There we go. How pretty yeah. does that So look? we are now uh, kind of done with this. Yeah. And, um, you know, you could put a lot more tomatoes on there, but we just didn't have time tonight. So that's it. Um, yep. We want to say... Bon appetit. <laughs> and don't forget to join us every time on The Chef You and I. Go, don't forget to go up to our website at thechefyouandi.com. And also go to our Catherine Raker YouTube. And don't forget to watch us on Catherine Raker's World on <laughs> tv to go dot my tv to go dot net mm -hmm. on Lifestyles, mm -hmm. Catherine Raker's World. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>